Good afternoon. My name is David Courtney and I'm running for the position of Texas State Senator for the District of the Senatorial District 17. Okay, and there are three things today I would like to talk to you about. First of all, I'd like to talk a little bit about myself. Second, I would like to talk a little bit about my opponent. And the third thing I'd like to talk about is... No, actually, I do remember. I'd like to talk about issues and things that I would like to see done. Now, there are many things in our country that need to be done, but there's only certain things that come within the domain of the Texas State Senate, so I will confine myself to that. Now, first of all, let's look at the overall situation. The overall situation in our country is we have a political machine, a political and social and economic framework, which has become hijacked by corporate interest. The United States, if it ever was, is not now a democracy. It is a corporatocracy. It is a plutocracy. It has a political framework which exists only for the benefit of a few people in our society, a few very rich people, a few very rich and wealthy corporations. This ultimately has got to change and it's something that we as an entire people must deal with. Now, let me tell you a little something about myself. I basically came into politics from street level activism. Uh, initially with the uh, opposition to the war in Iraq and then uh, Afghanistan, and then dealing with various progressive issues thereafter. Uh, I am a recovering Democrat, and yeah, I am a de recovering Democrat, and it's hard sometimes, but okay, it, we all know where we're coming from. At any rate, so this is who I am, this is where I come from. Now let me tell you a little something about my opponent, Joan Huffman. Joan Huffman is basically a typical Republican. She's been there on her, uh, she would, she's running for her third term, actually third half term to be exact, and in this time she has a very strong anti-immigrant, anti-minority voting record. She comes representing lawyers and prosecutors. She used to be a prosecutor. In other words, everything is a question of using the tools of our society against the people of our society. And I am, there is no Democrat in this race, so I feel that I have a very good chance, actually, of pulling this off. But I will need all the support and help from everyone available. Now that brings me to the third point, the things that I would like to see taken care of. First of all, we need to shore up the public sector as much as possible. In general, there has been an excess amount of privatization of everything, many things that should never have been put in the private sector. We need to bring the war on drugs to a, a close. And if, if uh, the political realities mean we can't bring, bring it to an absolute close, I would like to at least see weakening of laws for simple possession. I'd like to see opening the door for industrial hemp production and mer mer uh, medical marijuana and anything that we can get dealing with the realities. Immigrant rights, immigrant rights such as they are. There has been a wash of xenophobia in this country. Xenophobia used to be considered a mental and psychological pathology. Today it is domestic and foreign policy. There has to be some sanity in this area. Health, health and welfare. We have virtually no health system. Texas has consistently been at the bottom of the United States, which has been at the bottom of the industrialized world. We have to begin to address this issue. And then finally, education. My opponent has been cutting funds for education, and that is like, cutting, cutting funds for education is like a farmer eating his seed. This is the sort of thing which will guarantee our, uh, our collapse, our uh, demise in the future. So again, my name is David Courtney. I'm running for the position of Senatorial District 17, and any support that I can get from anyone here or everyone will be greatly appreciated because it is now a question of we and we must work together to bring about some change. Thank you very much.